Uh, that Francis Farmer who's going to have a revenge on uh, Seattle. What? What about it? What denomination yeah. was she? <laughs> uh, what about it? Oh, uh, we should read Dreamland by this PI reporter who wrote this book about her. It's really good. She was, you know, you know her story, don't you? She was an actress that was, um, was a, um, she was kind of a foul mouth person, What's a you know, and she, and she hated the whole um, Hollywood scene and she expressed her hatred for them publicly and so, um, and she also, when she was like, I think she was 15, she entered this essay contest when she was living here in Seattle entitled God is Dead and uh, a lot of That's people accused her of being a communist. Hmm. And then she went to New York and, and uh, was a part of this um, acting troupe and so it supposedly had communist ties too and uh so then there's this big conspiracy amongst a judge a very well-known prominent judge here in seattle and a bunch of other people who had ties with hollywood and they basically just set her up and ruined her life you know they um you know had some pictures taken of her when she was arrested for drunk driving and um, it just, it was a big, huge scandal, and she eventually was sent to a mental institution and given a lobotomy and raped every day for years and just totally abused and ended up, like, working at a, at a um, Four Seasons restaurant alone and dying by herself. There's Still a Bainbridge a Island. Woman. That's where she was uh, institutionalized, right over there. Mm -hmm. There's this whole broken down, like, hmm. infirmary there. For years, every night, there were lines of um, custodians, friends, and, and people, you know, part of the staff who would wait in line to rape her every day, you know? She went through a lot of shit. And it just disgusts me, you know, to know that there are some of the people that are part of that conspiracy are living here in Seattle in their comfortable, cushy little homes with their families, and, you know, mm. it's 20, you know, it's 40 years after them fact and it's just uh, it just God, makes me want to kill him. Yeah. And they're still looking That's what the Christians say. Citizens. God, why was there Auschwitz? Well, I'm a just God, not a fair one. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. Why is there law in Mavon? Well, I'm a... Ask St. Paul. He'll tell you all about it. He wrote this book called the Bible. I'm the little Jew that wrote the Bible. <laughs> Do you have already uh, set a tour? Not for Europe, just, just for the States. We're going to take it one tour at a time. I mean, we definitely want to and plan to go over to Europe, you know, in Japan, Australia. But... It'll probably be early, probably January or something like that. We'll be in Europe. I mean, touring must have changed for you quite a lot too. Suddenly being confronted with this giant machinery, a whole of lot of people. I mean, when you play big venues, you need yeah. to have a lot of people and equipment and yeah. a real organization well, behind it. Yeah, we used to drive around, just three guys in a van. Yeah. And haul but, gear. you know, for compared to a lot of other bands that are on our scale, like we only have like a handful of roadies, people, and a tour manager and a helper for him, you know, it's like a lot of bands that are bigger than us or as big as us, you know, have like 50 people on the road with them. It's just a big confusing, stupid thing that happens. We're still really down to earth in that area and we may suffer for it a lot of times because we don't get things done, but oh well. Save a lot of money. <laughs> It's just funner and simpler that way. They could. Yeah. Having a family, does, did that change your your uh, attitude towards music at all? Mm, not towards the music. But to, to the life combined with it? Mm, I seem that much more optimistic. I mean, I'm totally... Uh, I like having a family, it's fun, it's great. But, um, you know, I'm so angry about a lot of other things, you know, in life, so it doesn't really, you know, stop, stop me from being angry in music. Hmm. It, doesn't, it doesn't change us very much. 
you sometimes uh, do you write together with your wife? What? Do you sometimes write together with your wife or create stuff? Sometimes we usually, I, I wouldn't say it's really writing, it's just jamming, mm. just playing together. I think Royal Penny Tea. What? Royal Penny Tea. Penny Royal Tea. Penny Royal Tea, yeah. Yeah, well they're covering that song. It's mostly my song, you know. So, um, kind of just jammed on it together and they want to record a version of it. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna finish. Thanks a lot. How many more do you have to do today? Um, yeah. Metropole gilt derzeit als die Hauptstadt der Rocky.